Well, this interesting piece of wood is a red maple burl, and Uncle Mo sent it to me. You've seen Uncle Mo in the comment section. He's a longtime subscriber. I sure appreciate this. I want to see what I can do with it. Off camera, I flattened out the top of this burl just slightly so that I could properly mount this onto the chuck using the uh, worm screw. This piece dried slightly oval so it's going to be a little bit off balance. That's why I've got the tailstock up supporting. And I'm starting out at a speed just below where the lathe starts to shake because of the off balance nature of this piece. As it gets closer and closer into round and more balanced, I'll turn up the speed and ultimately end up going no faster than about 1100 RPM. I'm still a little bit unsure of uh, the shape I'm going after at this point, so I'm taking a look at all the bark inclusions and I see that I'm going to have to go a little bit deeper on the outside than I had thought originally, just because of all the inclusions. But I've got a shape in mind now, after taking a look. We'll see how it goes. That's looking better. Those soft spots that you see there, that's not punkiness, that's just uh, the innermost part of the bark.
Now this is just a clear shellac that has a, uh, a good amount of denatured alcohol in it just to thin it down which is what you usually thin down shellac with anyways and I'm using it for the uh, sealer as well as the finish so it took a few coats but I'm happy with it and here I'm just uh, saturating the bark it's soaking it right up so it won't be nearly as fragile okay let's take a look at what some of you have been making out there I always enjoy doing this my way of saying thank you to all of you Chris Walters made his first pen great job Keep on turning, brother. Kent Turkow made these. Look at that. Just fantastic. Really love this one here. Great job, Kent. Luis Menini Neto from Brazil made these. Luis, I hope I said your name right. You do some beautiful work. Muito bom trabalho. I'm sure I said that wrong too, but great work. Now, like I said earlier, I show those photos of all of your work just as my way of saying thank you for all of your support. And I want to thank everybody else that has subscribed also for helping my channel grow. I really appreciate it. It's just been amazing. And once I was able to move the tool rest uh, to the inside of the bowl, I was able to start shaping the contour of the inside to match the outside. Nice and even all the way down. Not super thin. It's about a half inch. But it seemed right for this shape, for this bowl. Now you're not going to see me using a lot of carbide tip tools just because I uh, cut my teeth on traditional tools so that's that's what I choose to go to but this nice round carbide tip tool that Mike Benjamin made me is perfect for shaping the, uh, the contours inside this particular bowl just fits into the curve of the corner perfectly
Well, let me know what you all think. It's got some very interesting grain. Of course, it's a burl, so it's going to. But there's little people all over the place and a, a very mad looking fish, if you, if you can see it right there. Thank you very much for watching. Semper Fi.